Hi kids! Today we will learn about angles. So let's get started. We have two lines, AB and BC, which are meeting at a common point B. Here, this shape marked with red line is the angle formed between the two straight lines, AB and BC. So kids, angle is shape formed by two straight lines diverging from a common point. Here, B is the vertex of the angle. AB and BC are legs of the angle. It is the space between two straight lines. It extends even beyond the ends of the line segments. Here, white area is the interior of an angle. Exterior. It is the space outside the two straight lines. It extends even beyond the ends of line segments. Here, the area marked with blue is the exterior of the angle. Now, let's see the symbols used for representing the angles. This is a symbol to represent an angle. We represent angle ABC like this, where vertex is always placed in the center. Here, Vertex is B. Let's see more examples. Here, CE and ED are arms of an angle. And E is the vertex. And CED is the angle represented like this. Different types of angles. Now, Let's learn different types of angles. First of all, let's see. Acute angle. If the angle is less than 90 degree, we call it an acute angle. This is the symbol we use for an acute angle. We write acute angles like this. Now, Let's see some examples of acute angles. So kids, acute angles are less than one-fourth of a full circle. Now, let's see what is a right angle. Exact 90 degree angle is called a right angle. Symbol for right angle is this. So we represent right angle like this. Here are some examples of right angles. So right angle is exactly one fourth of a full circle. Now let's see what are obtuse angles. If the angle is more than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees, we call it an obtuse angle. Example of obtuse angles. So, obtuse angles are more than one-fourth of a circle and less than half of a circle. Now, let's see what is a straight angle. And 180 degree angle is called a straight angle as it's a straight line. So, straight angle is exactly half of a circle. Now, let's see what are reflex angles. Reflex angles are more than 180 degrees, but less than 360 degrees. So, reflex angles are more than half of a circle and less 
full circle. And 360 degree is a full rotation. 360 degree is a full circle. So kids, today we have learned what is an angle, different symbols for the angles, and different types of angles. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.